Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new frame in for an overview and this is from a new company called XEX UAV. So I've been noticing these guys come up lately and I think I got a couple of the frames earlier and this one is another interesting one I would say. It's kind of like going for the Martian style but it's actually hella thin. So this is called the XUAV FS230 and it's a 230 millimeter wheelbase which means it's a 5 inch quadcopter. Uh, it does have a pretty thin upper plate and bottom plate. It is 2 millimeters and also you got your side plate which runs all the way down here. It just gives you a little bit more rigidity and overall strength in the frame. Now, um, overall, as you can tell, this has very thin arms. So, you know, this is going to be recommended with some type of 4.1 ESC. Uh, that's how I would build it if I was going to. You also need to take note of this right here. This is very close. So some kind of all-in-one board sometimes will probably hit this part right here. So take that into consideration right there. Overall, I mean, it looks like some kind of a gothic theme going on for it. It's just very thin. Look at that. That's just crazy. So that's just uh, it's it's different. It's new. It's um, it's something interesting. So it is a true X. That's one of its features, and it's roughly. Let's quickly check its weight, actually. All right, so it's zeroed out here, and it is 108 grams. That's pretty good for a five inch. However, you know the the overall integrity, the overall structure is pretty good. The quality of the carbon seems all right. Uh, and there isn't anything that I noticed. Everything fit together very nice and clean. I didn't have to fight anything, so that's good. Uh, the hardware was all there, even a little extras they have left over. So that's a huge plus. And as you can see here, this is going to be a top mount battery frame. So that take that into consideration. If you are into that, that's what's going to happen right here. And they have these two little notches. I think that's where you're supposed to put your battery strap. So that'll help. And over here, as you can see here, if you're going to mount your GoPro, they have some kind of mounting solution for you. If you want to use zip ties or something of that nature. And the camera angle, well, I mean... Actually, this thing, I don't think it'll fit a normal HS1177 type camera. I think this will only fit a micro uh, camera in here. I think, yeah. Yeah, there's no way this is going to fit in a regular type camera. You're going to need one of those, you know, run cam micros or the Cadex uh, cameras. So we take that into consideration also here. Uh, the arms here are, it's not, obviously it's not a single piece bottom plate. So the arms are separate here. And, you know, th this type of setup, I really try to avoid because sometimes, you know, when things get loose, uh, these will send the vibrations up to the flight controller if you don't have them soft mounted correctly, depending on your flight controller. So that can cause issues. So I recommend you constantly check your uh, screws here that they're tight enough and there's not going to be anything wiggling and just vibrating like crazy. So you have to take that into consideration also here. So mounting solution seems pretty good. You do have an SMA port right there. You could put your SMA through there if you wanted to. Um, and overall, I mean, it's pretty good. But, you know, I really don't like how close the standoff is here. You might have to remove that if you're running some kind of all-in-one that won't fit. So let's just get the measurements of the arms here. So it has 5 millimeter arms. And its width, the arm's width is around 11 millimeters so 11 millimeters in width five millimeters in thickness here uh they are pretty nice chamfered down they're, they're sanded down they do have nice edges right there so that's very good to see the carbon does look like it's good quality carbon but uh you can't really tell until you start crashing this thing it is pretty thin the arms are pretty thin actually and there isn't really an interlocking mechanism that's going on for the uh for the arms here uh, they just go and meet up in the middle and they have these cutouts right here as you can see you kind of align them together But they just touch each other right there. So they're not interlocking in any sort of way So I wish they were usually interlocking arms are a little bit better uh, reduce possibility of vibrations in my opinion and Yeah Overall, I mean, it's a pretty good one. I mean, it's it's pretty expensive too actually. It's like 60 bucks I mean I don't know, it's up to you, but I mean, it looks nice. It has like a little gothic theme going on to it, and um, it seems all right. It seems okay. I didn't see anything that's, you know, like a big killer for me, but, um, you know, this is kind of like the freestyle setup, maybe going with a light. It's not even a super light freestyle setup. It's just a, you know, freestyle setup with very little carbon, um, which, you know, like, I mean, look at this amount of space here with no support. That can, you know, easily be broken. Uh, I mean, I've, I've crashed into posts like this. 
and I could totally see myself breaking this, so uh, I take that into consideration also, and, well, that is it, guys, so, I mean, I don't see anything else about this frame that's that should be mentioned here like i said everything aligned good it is pretty expensive um i don't think they're cloning anyone if they are clones clo if they have cloned someone please let us know down in the comment section if anyone's used it please let us know also down in the comment section and um and yeah guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you next time see you guys take care